Yo. I see you're not fucking subscribed. Do it before I tell your mom. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Today, <clears throat> we gon' make a tier list. You already know, it's Tuesday. So, today, we're gonna be deciding, or trying to figure out which animals I can defeat in hand-to-hand -hand combat. We've got a nice little assortment here. And, you know, we could cut this real short. I could beat all these. I could beat all these animals, but we'll entertain them. We'll go through them one by one. Let's just get into it, I say. All right, motherfucking silverback. Okay, yeah. So this is just easy, you know? Easy claps. Gorilla is like man, but fucking giant. I just don't think there's any universe where I could beat a gorilla in a fight. They're probably the best argument for being a vegan. Because that fucker's tearing my face off and then spitting it out. He just kills for fun. Those fangs are just to kill for fun, not even for food. This one's a bit different because we've been at war with the bats for over a year now. One bite fucks the whole world. But one single bat not having to worry about future disease, I kill I, I, almost all of them. Is just one tap dead. It's just easy. Easy clapped. Grizzly bear. Or just bears in general, like black bear. I've killed a black bear. In an actual fight, I had a weapon. In a fight, no shot. A black bear wouldn't want to fight me most of the time, but a grizzly bear, that's just a tough L. There's just no chance you're you're beating a grizzly. Unless you're Leonardo DiCaprio in fucking The Revenant. Alright, and now we have a nice little honeybee. So I'm wondering, is this... Should I be thinking of this as a colony of bees? I still don't think that they'd kill me if I don't... Like, I'm not allergic. I don't think they'd... I don't think they'd get me. That... See, I need to put a category in here for, like... You can't win. Cause, like, I feel like... I would still probably lose, right? Like, cause I would run. You just run away, that means I lose. Cause there's too many of them, and you, you just smack one, there's still 10,000 more on your ass. So should I go leaning towards defeat? I think me running away is defeat. I, I, I yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to admit defeat to a, a hive of bees. Because while I could probably smash every single one of them, I'm not hanging out to figure it out. Okay, now we got a bison. Well, funny story. That's what this is. Legit, like a week ago, my grandma sent me a box in the mail, and it was literally just filled with bison meat. I don't know where she got buffalo meat from, but it's good. That said, it's like the undomesticated bull cow, and it's got like more armor than a cow does. It's pretty much made for defense. It can still fuck you up though. I'm gonna say tough loss, cause it's just gonna stomp me out. It's not really made to murder. House cat. Okay, so this might rage everybody. I don't really like cats that much. I mean, cats are cool, uh, but they're no dog. That being said, house cats are psychopaths, and there isn't one of them that I wouldn't launch. This is a perfect it's getting punted category because a house cat is just, you just whack. And it's fucking gone. Easy. Easy. Now a cow. A cow would win. I think a cow would beat me. They're also kind of domesticated. But they're still, it's still, it's still like a, a compact car coming at you. I'm gonna say I, I lose. But like, and like also, what am I gonna do to a cow? Like, I know they do, like I've been to a few, like I'm from the... I'm from the sticks, man, so I've been to some rodeos, and I know they do steer wrestling, which is like a small neutered bull, and they jump off their horse and wrestle it to the ground, but it's still like impossible. Now a gator, okay, I think you just don't. There are real, I mean, it could be a small one. First off, if you're in there, if, in most of these things, if you're in their territory, you don't stand a chance. Stupid. Stupid! You don't I'm even get, get the, the chance. chance. But yeah, a gator? No. No shot, bro. But yeah. I take that out. Crocodile, caiman, alligator. They all take me. 
And that death roll is the worst. The death roll is just like the worst. Like, I just imagine that tearing into me. Now a dog. Little cute little puppy. This one's tough because I fucking love dogs. Do you think five midgets with baseball bats could take a tiger? Are they trapped in a room together? A dog? I mean, I love dogs. Dog! Dog! I have dog. I have dog. He's nice. He's my friend. That being said, I could fuck this fucker up if I needed to. I'd totally win. Like, he could, like, physically he could kill me. Because, you know, they got strong ass jaws and if he got you in the neck good or in the back of the neck, it's good night. But, nah, not happening. Getting punted. <laughs> A bald eagle, now that one would be tough. Because that one, this one where our tight, like our fighting types don't really match up and it would have the superiority on me. But I think like just pure physical power, it couldn't kill me. Taking out the nuance of it. Like it's not gonna slit my jugular or anything or pick me up. Granted, like they are very, very strong and their claws are very sharp. They can go from the 100 miles an hour stop and then go back up carrying something, but like, and they have five foot wingspan, but I still win. I still win all day, I think. Like I'm hurt, sliced, but I come out of that victorious and a traitor to America. I win, I, win. I, beat, a, I beat an eagle. <laughs> the elephant, oh my god. Elephants, <laughs> it's just, that thing accidentally kills you. Like it doesn't look where it's stepping one time and it, you're just literally dead on accident. And then if it wants to hurt you, a fly, okay, now we got a fly. Okay, okay, I don't know if I could take a fly. Now we got a leopard frog. Like even poison dart frogs, like the poison ones. I think you have to ingest it. I think you have to ingest their poison. Yeah, those guys are gone. Gonzo, dead, easy clap, punted. Giraffe. See a giraffe? I don't know if I want to fight a giraffe, but have you seen them mating? Wait, no, is it just fighting? It's right here. Look at these motherfucking skyscrapers. Like, what are you gonna do? You're, like, we, I need the opposite of it's getting punted because I'm gonna get punted. And they're just standing there leaning. They can kill a lion with a kick. Yeah. Like, nothing fucks with them. They also just kind of vibe. You know, like, they f I feel like they don't give a shit when they're in the zoo. After that evidence, giraffe kicks our ass, bro. That's a tough loss. A goat. I'm the goat. I think regardless, these things, this is like, it's like a goat could mess you up, but it's not like going for the kill, you know? Like it, but it rams you real hard. and It'll break your freaking leg. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to say it's gonna be a fair fight, I think. Okay, now what, which, what is this? What is this fat? This is gonna be a walrus. These things got giant penises, like five foot long walrus cock. So just for that, I think they, they could beat, they got, they got me beat by a couple, couple inches at least. But yeah. Okay, now we have a horse. So story time. I used to work at a horse stables when I was in high school. Basically, I just cleaned up their shit. But uh, I got kicked one time in the back of the knee, so like I was lucky that it wasn't in the front going the other direction. It would probably would have smashed my knee out. And I had like like a softball-sized bruise, and it just fucking hurt so bad. When you're doing an ultrasound on a horse, you know, on like a on a person, you just put the thing on their belly, right? And then it shows you the little little alien in black and white. Not for horses. In horses, they put a glove on that goes to their shoulder and then they stick it in the horse's asshole. I still I still take that L. I'm assuming this is just meant to be a, a, a typical human. I think I could take most people. 
that are alive right now in a fight one-on-one. -on -one. But anybody with like real fighting technique or whatever, no shot, right? So we just go fair fight with a human, with another human, fair fight. Kangaroo. I think this one's gotta be a fair fight too. These fuckers are almost leaning towards losing, I guess. They got claws and shit. And those big old bouncers. They can rip your guts out with a kick. You just put that you just put that image in, in my brain. So now I'm picturing that. Now I'm thinking I don't win this fight. Just solely off of that, I'm gonna take what you just said, blues, without any research, and I'm gonna use it as pure fact. And I'm losing. Koala bear, they're cute, but I'm punting a koala. So that's a lion, easy collapse on their part. So this is a lizard. In general, I think they're gonna get punted. There are the very crazy big ones that would tear my face off, but I still think like, like even the Komodo dragon, who's the biggest lizard there is, they don't actually have poison. It's like they're, uh, they have bacteria in their mouths. And so what they do is they, they sneak up on this gazelle or whatever it is, and they bite it, and then they follow it around for a week until it dies from an infection. And then they eat it. Okay, so now we got monkeys, or primates. Maybe I should do leaning towards defeat, but even like the little capuchin ones, I don't want to get bit by one. Octopus. So like, well, they are incredibly like squishy. They're super smart. At the San Francisco Aquarium or whatever, there's like a little sign that said that they had it had like giant locks on it and it was like sealed airtight. Uh, they have it sealed because it used to, it would escape and then go into the other enclosures and eat fish and then it would go back into its tank. And they only figured it out because they saw it on the sec like security cameras one night, I guess. But that being said, most octopus are small and they would probably be annoying, but like you just pull them out, you just pull them out of the water long enough and they're fucked, I'd say. Penguins are getting punted. Every single one. Even an emperor penguin. Rabbits. <laughs> okay. Rabbits, that's an easy clap getting punted. So can these guys. See a rat? Rats are fucking cringe. Okay, so this is kind of an embarrassing story. My grandpa used to have a pet rat that was like free range. And it like lived in his couch. But yeah, I just smush. I just smush a rat. Rhinoceros. This is a tank incarnate. You just don't win against a rhino. Especially with just your hands. You just don't have the... You don't have the skin breaking ability. Like you have tiny little... This thing has literal armor on it. It's literally armored. Seal. I think I could beat a seal in a fight, right? Just like wait for it to come up from the ice in Alaska and then fucking hit it really hard. Club them. They used to, they literally would just go and club baby seals. Sharks. Okay, if it's on land, I guess I would just won, right? But if it's in the water, most of the time it's just gonna eat you. It just eats you. King Cobra. Slap it, Cobras. Everything venomous is just is just like where I live stuff like stuff here that's gonna kill me is the cold you'll know about it or you just fall asleep and die or like maybe a bear or a wolf so there's just absolutely no shot you win spiders spiders everybody loves spiders we all know that and I would defeat them they're soft and furry squirrels punt tigers tearing my face off dog toads Again, this tiny smush bowl. Hornets. Hornets are the exactly the same as bees, I would say. Wolves is, you know, it's just a dog that's built, built better, built better dog. But they also have the hunting drive. Like they actually hunt stuff. I think I just lose. It's not really a fair fight, especially if there's more than one. But I see a realm where I defeat a wolf. Stick it in the horse's asshole.